Hello, everybody. Guess what? I'm back with WWE 2K16, and I am your host, the Assassin AK47, bringing the main menu to you, to your home, to your computer, to your iPhone, your Android, your PS4, your Xbox One, your 360s, your PS3s, your PCs, all of it. The main menu is before you, and I am who I am, and I'm different from everybody else. You are witnessing greatness, and everyone's been craving for it. Everybody's been commenting for it. Everybody's been saying, please, man, play some WWE 2K16, my career mode. And guess what? Your boy came through, because that's exactly what I am doing for you guys. You guys wanted it. So here you go. And also to catch you up to speed, I've been playing this a lot. Like, not a lot lately, but I played it a lot. So this is what's going to happen, guys. How this thing's going to roll out and make everybody up to speed before I get into the matches and what I'm going to, like, my arc and everything. So, what happened was I was United States Champion. I, I, uh, I lost the belt. I just lost the belt to Zara. I wanted to lose the belt because I've been United States Champion for a while now and I want to move up to the ranks, you know, go for the WWE or have a championship title, you know. So, that's what I'm going for now. I don't know why John Cena is the champion now. I, I, I mean, I just lost to Zara. Like, uh, Extreme Rules, I lost to him. And that was just like last Sunday. So, I don't know why Cena is the champ now. Like, nothing. Ha I guess he won it on Raw, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, like... Also, they've been putting me on SmackDown. I haven't even been on Raw yet. I played the game for uh, over 50 hours now. And uh, a lot of people's like, man, uh, I heard you really don't like the game that much. Well, the only reason I really don't like the game that much is because, the, I mean, as far as gameplay goes, great. I love the gameplay. I love how the, uh, like, I love how they fixed it. They, uh, they made it way better than it was before. But the only thing I really is just the, uh, my career mode. A lot of people like my career mode, but it just goes on and on and on forever. Like N NXT takes forever, and like it just takes like it just takes longer than it should. You know, I wish it would speed up the process a little bit. Like it takes you long to rank up, and I wish it just you know to speed up a little bit. But that's my piece. I'm supposed to go for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So I'm supposed to get out of the United States run and rankings, whatever you want to fucking call it. I don't even care. I'm going for it, guys. Let's see who's champion right now. Of course, my boy, Seth freaking Rollins. And I'm going to take it from him, and he better be ready. See, next in line, we got Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan. Yeah. So where am I at? I ain't on here yet. But Seth Rollins is a heel, and I'm also a heel. So I'm thinking about switching to face just because I've been healed for so long, guys. Like, I've been healed, like, 50 hours in, and, like, I haven't tried face out yet. So I want to do new things while I start my career mode up. I did some my career mode on the KBW channel. If you uh, guys hadn't checked that out, most of you have. And I did, uh, me and Cage played each other on one, on one of these. So I'm going to start doing my career mode more for you guys. I know you love uh, the wrestling so much. And I know you love this game a lot. So I'm going to crank it out for you. Also, series-wise, I might do Last of Us. A lot of people are saying Last of Us. So I might be doing that next. Or Ratchet & Clank since it's newer. I haven't played Ratchet & Clank yet. And I, I've been... I bought it like two months ago, and I still haven't played it. I ain't put the disc in yet, so I don't know. I got a lot of stuff on my backlog. But anyways, guys, I'm tired of talking. Like, I've been talking for like, what, four minutes now, and I ain't even seen no action. So I just had to get everybody up to speed of what's going on because, you know, I'm not starting a whole new career, going through next NXT and doing all that bullshit. I'm getting right straight to the point. We're going for that title, Rollins. You better be ready. Let's get it. All right. So there I am, number 10. Now, I'm trying to figure out. Hold on. Oh, they finally put me on Raw now. I'm going for the uh, title. I want to switch my. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out if I can uh, change from heel to face. I know there's a way. Hold on. When there's a will, there's a way, guys. When there's a will, there's a way. Fuck it, I'll figure it out later, I guess, when I go up. I have to... Cause I, ain't, I ain't got time for this shit. I don't have time for it. So it looks like I got... 
Jack Swagger in a one-on-one -on -one match. Everybody knows how this is going to go. He's going to get fucking squashed by the Assassin, AK-47, because everybody knows Jack Swagger is witnessing greatness. He can hold his hand on his heart and say, we are the people, but he has never, ever stepped in the ring with somebody like me. So let's get to it. I also want to say, this also bugs me a lot, guys. What the fuck is The Rock doing on Monday Night Raw fighting Kevin Owens? They have these stupid ass matches for no reason. Like, that doesn't make any sense and that would never happen on a Raw show. Like, before I get into it, I know I've been talking a lot. I'm sorry. Just bear with me, guys. Just please bear with me with this. I'm, I'm like, just super aggravated with this. Somewhere. Dolph Ziggler versus Sting. Why? What the fuck? You got The Rock and Kevin Owens? Like, they just have, like, weird ass matches. I, I, okay, Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar, that's great. Orton and Daniel Bryan, good. Cena and Jericho, great. But sometimes I just throw these random ass matches and I'm like, huh? How does that fit anywhere? So, just want to point that out too. I probably pointed that out before, but I did it again. Fuck it. Deal with it. Sorry, don't deal with it, guys. I didn't mean to be angry at you guys. I'm not angry. I'm happy right now. Peace, love, and positivity. That's the motto. Also, the motto is 5K is on the way. I don't want to do a run in. I'm just going to skip to my next event. Yeah. Me and Jack Swagger. Let's see how this goes, guys. I'm going to show you how AK-47 rolls in the WWE 2K16 universe. I know a lot of people is great at this game. I, I was really good at it at a time because I was playing it like constantly. I told you like 50, hour, 50 hours in. And uh, I just haven't played it in like a while lately just because I got out of it. You know, it just, it just felt, it just got boring in a way. Because I've been like with the United States Championship for so long. Well, not with it, but it took me fucking forever to get through NXT. I'm like, damn, finally. Then I went to the United States side. I didn't think it would take that long. Then it did take long. I'm like, fuck, this is long as fuck, you know? So, but anyways, I'm back in it. The following contest is I'm skipping through entrances. I don't. What the fuck? What the fuck, Mark Haley doing here? What the fuck, Mark? I thought we was cool, Mark. What the fuck, Mark? Why you give me that sexual chocolate feel? No. He's filling me in with that sexual chocolate, guys. That chocolate pudding. I don't want any chocolate pudding today, Mark Henry. Stop it. Why are you so angry? Get off me. Can you at least let me get up and fight? You little bitch. Come on, come on. Fight like a man, huh? Fight like a man, Mark. Damn, he's hit button the shit out of me straight. Punisher on my ass. What the hell? Oh, 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 he's fucked. I caught that leg, motherfucker. I caught that fucking leg, dog. What you gonna do now, bitch? Huh? You big fat summer piece of shit. Oh, take a knee to the face, huh? Yeah. You remember me? I'm the assassin, AK-47. I don't take shit from nobody, Mark, huh? You gonna ambush me in my match? Who are you, Mark? Get a slap to the face. You just, you disgrace me. He is such a disgrace. Sitting here thinking I'm going to go in and match with Jack Swagger. Oh no, Mark Henry had other plans. Out of everybody in that locker room, Mark Henry wants to pick a fight with the assassin AK-47? I don't think so. Please welcome my guest tonight. Let's talk about Mark Henry. Yeah, let's talk about that piece of he shit. He ambushed you tonight during your own match. Have anything to share on that? I'm going to try to be face, guys. I'm not going to do anything heelish, but I really do want to be heelish right now. I want a match now. I'm a professional. I know what he's trying to do, and it's not going to work. I'm a professional. He can't get me off my game. I tell you what, if he wants to come at me, then let's do this in the ring in a sanctioned match. We'll see what he's really about. That's right. You two have been clashing a lot lately. Is this turning into a rivalry for you? This is how they try to get you in a rivalry. She's like, y'all been crashing a lot lately. What the fuck? He just came out of nowhere in ambush. It's the first time I've seen the motherfucker. But anyways, I'm brushing him off. I want nothing to do with him. I'm up for the challenge. I will not lose. I'm brushing him off. I don't fight fighting Mark Henry, guys. Give me a better opponent. I don't think it's a rivalry at all. Stuff like this happens day in and day out in the WWE. I just brush it off like it's nothing. Because I have bigger goals in mind. He can do whatever he wants, but it's not going to work. Sorry. 
that's what it is. It is what it is. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. Yeah, Renee Young. She look at her smile and she knows she just got that dick from Dean Ambrose last night. <laughs> If, if nobody knows this, pretty much everybody knows. But Dean Ambrose and Renee Young are dating. In real life. No joke. It's an odd couple to me, but... I mean, I kind of see where it fits, I guess. Look at Roman Reigns. Oh, God. I'm glad Finn Bauer beat him. That was a terrific moment. Alright, let's see what we got. Sheamus and Dean Ambrose. No. Ziggler and Sting. No. Hmm. I'm supposed to interfere with Seth Rollins. I'm supposed to mess this whole fucking match up, guys. Target Seth Rollins. Uh, go from the ramp. Confirm. Let's do it, guys. Let's do this fucking run in. Just something to do. I thought I was gonna have a match, but fuck it. I'm probably gonna make this video probably uh, about thirty. 30 to 40 minutes anyway, so we hope we get a lot of shit in here. It's gonna be lit, guys. Hope you guys are strapped and settled for the ride of the main menu. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna have its ups and downs, I guess, because I've been talking so damn much and I can't get into damn action because all this stuff's going on. These interviews, these interferences. Give me in a damn match. I'm ready. I'm focused. I got time to deal with no bullshit. There he is, guys. He has no clue I'm coming for that ass. Oh, he's going to have a rude awakening when he sees the assassin, I'm telling you. He's a witness greatness for real. Look at him. He has no idea. Oh, shit. Rollins. You know, I hate to be so negative, but this guy deserves every last boo he gets here tonight. Love the I'm about to whoop that ass. Here we go, here we go. Each and every week. He doesn't see it. Got his ass. What up, bitch? How you doing, Rollins? I'm coming for that belt. I'm the go to be the new champion. It's going to be around my waist, Rollins. My fucking waist, huh? Remember my name. AK-47. Hit him with that difference maker, AK. Different! That's what you get, Rollins. That's only just a taste of what you're going to get later, homeboy. Man, it's kind of fun getting back into this. I like it. I haven't played it in a long time, guys. Not I mean, not a long time. I mean, I, me and Cage played it, what, a month ago, maybe? But that was like my first time in a long time getting back in it. I just put so much, in, so many hours in this game, man. It's just like, uh... Please welcome my guest tonight. Let's talk about Seth Rollins. Let's talk about him. Why did you go face-to-face -face with him in the ring tonight? I wouldn't call it face-to-face, -face, but, I mean, I did. No stick. I don't answer anyone. I want to. I want him to flinch. No disrespect to him. He knows I want that match with him. No disrespect to him at all. But I am going to be getting in his face until he gives me that match. There is no one I want to go up against more than him. The way I see it, we are two of the biggest superstars in the WWE. Let's get in there and see who is the best. Which is me, obviously. You two have been clashing a lot lately. Of course. Is this turning into a rivalry for you? Oh, I don't know, Renee Young. Let's see. I'm up for the challenge, Renee. Let's get it. He's trying to start a war that he can't finish. That's fine. I'm up for the challenge. I just hope he's ready for the fight of his life. Damn straight. This is not just a rivalry for me. He is standing between me and what I want. And he'll soon regret that. Ooh, that's fighting words right there. Thanks for the time. Back to you. Look at her grinning again. She got that dick again, guys. 
Dean Ambrose be laying that wood. She calls him her lumberjack. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Look at Rollins. I really like that. I mean, I know people know this, but Rollins is my favorite. Your rank decreased. Why would it decrease? Because I guess I ain't been in a damn match. They won't fucking put me in a match. Alright, let's go back home. So we'll see what's going on on Thursday. Now on Tuesdays, but... Fucking w 2 k 16 I want to update that shit. Your ship with Seth Rollins has reached its worst. You are now locked in the rivalry with Seth freaking Rollins. Let's get it. Allies. Dean Ambrose is my ally. <laughs> nah. I guess this is for tag team partners. It is. Uh oh. This is a good match to have, guys. Let's see what the authority wants me to do. Perform two finishers during your match. I can do that. But. If I go over to authority, does that mean I'm healed, though? Or if I go against authority, does that mean I'm face? Or does it even matter if I go against him or not? Hmm. I want to be face this go around. So I don't know. You see this shit, guys? I'm not lying to you. The Rock is now on SmackDown. Thursday Night SmackDown fighting Sami Zayn. But who the fuck knows? I mean, that's an okay match. Triple H, for some reason, he's fighting Jay Uso and Ryback in a handicap match. <laughs> Mark Henry versus Bray Wyatt, okay. Finn Balor versus Kane, alright. Alright, Sting's back out of the game with Roman Reigns. Why in the hell throw Fandango in there? Weird ass shit, I can't, I mean, who's booking this shit? Who's booking it? It's time for me and Daniel Bryan to go to war. I'm a big fan of Daniel Bryan. I respect everything he's done, but I'm sorry, DB. It's time to meet the assassin, AK-47. Because DB, I am who I am. And I'm different from everybody else. Even you, DB. You can say yes, yes, all you want. But it ain't gonna help you tonight. The Let's get it. Oh, oh no! I forgot all about how good he is, guys. I think I went in over my head. No. Get off me, get off me. You go face looking motherfucker. Get off me. What you got? Uh, I'm too tall for him, guys. Damn, I am really tall. I made myself like fucking six, seven. Jesus. Definitely not accurate at all. Oh no, no more kicks for you. Right in the jaw, bitch. Uh oh, I got him, I got him, guys. Slam that ass. I mean, I'm not gonna try for a five-star match every time, because that just, it, that just takes too fucking long. I mean, we on Thursday night smacking now. No need to, no need to go all out, you know? I try to make, keep it as realistic as possible. Fuck! I'm gonna fuck myself over, dog. I hate these fucking shits. I'm gonna wind up getting coffee, pussy in another submission, dog. He's really good at him. Sit that ass down, though. Oh, hello. Knee to the face. Gonna show some of you guys some of my moves I have. I'll do this one. I don't know what it is. Well, fuck. Of course, German. He hit me with the German suplex. Not today, DB. They call me the reversal monster. Yeah, I know that that one was not great at all, guys. Definitely should not use that anywhere you go, because that was god off. <laughs> all right, here we go. Some. Let's see what I got here. Damn it, DB. Stop reversing. All right, here we go. All right, I got... Oh, I didn't know I was going to put him in this. But anyway, choke that ass out like I did Cage in the leather strap match. If you guys haven't checked that match out, check that match out. Go see it. That leather strap with me and Cage was fucking awesome. Oh, no, oh, no. 
Get off me, get off me. Now here's something about Daniel if you have seen it, watch that shit again. WWE that, Why not? After you watch the main menu, of course. Damn, DB. You monkey flying motherfucker. Oh, no. Damn, man, I thought I had that one. That was not late. DB might fucking beat me. I have it on hard, guys. I like challenges in games. Like, I never put my games on normal, really. I like up in the ante. I put it on hard every time. So he's probably gonna whoop my ass because I haven't been playing forever. I ain't got no reversal. Shit. He's got my body yellow, guys. I ain't good at all. He's gonna hit his fucking sig because I ain't got the fucking... That's another thing, guys. You have to watch your... Sometimes you don't need the reverse. Sometimes you do. It's very st 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 I can't fucking talk today. Strategic. Here we go. I'm good at kicking out and kicking out though. Like, I remember when I kicked out. Like, somebody hit me with, like four finishers and I still kicked out of them. Like, I don't know how I always like. It's super thin, but I, somehow I get in there, man. We probably might see it right here because he's about to hit me with something. I already know. Nope. Fuck you, DB. My turn. Whoop. Sorry, sir. That swinging net breaker for you. Give you a little knee. Get that head where I want it. It's orange now, DB. All right, see what I got here. Oh, yeah, this is Dean Ambrose. Dirty Deeds. Not Dirty Deeds. Why the fuck I say Dirty Deeds? That was his old finisher, though. The, did, did he still call it Dirty Deeds, though? I don't know if he did or not. I can't think. That was one of his finishes at one time. I'm pretty sure. A positive. Damn, he's with my ass. AK-47 might lose. I ain't gonna lie. He's whooping my anus. He's got me red right now. I ain't... Damn. Get the fuck off me, DB. It's not the time and the place, friend. I need to get that WD World Heavyweight Championship. For some reason, I can never say that. I always get tired to me. Every time I say WD World Heavyweight Championship. For some damn reason. It's a fucking mouthful, I'll tell you that. Spoon, fork, knife, and all in my fucking mouth. All right, here we go. Another swing and net breaker. All right, I'm gonna show you my uh my high fly moves before I hit him with the uh finish. Holy fuck! You gotta be kidding me! What the hell? Are you serious? I did not need that right now. Come on, Daniel. Damn, Daniel! Back at it again with the kicks. I see. Oh my god! I broke his neck. <laughs> What the fuck? I straight broke his damn neck. No wonder his ass had to retire. Jesus. AK broke his damn neck. Did y'all see that shit? Holy shit. Somebody had to see that. Y'all had to. The way he fucking landed? That shit was sick. In a disgusting and good way, I guess. Because that was like, oh my god. Like, I straight murdered him. Well Alright, see what I got here, guys. Uh, corner move. Never mind. DB had other plans. He's with my ass. I need to finish this real quick. Oh, shit, no. Alright, I got it. Whew. When you miss that first one, man, it gets, like, intense. Like, your heart starts beating fast. Like, oh, shit, I might get beat right here. Cause you gotta be careful with that shit, man. You mean, yeah, I got this, but no. One slip up on them damn bro that pin shit, and you, you fuck. All right. Come on, come on, get my finish. There we go. Difference maker. End it. Sorry, Daniel, but it's game over. Sorry for stealing your uh, catchphrase, Pac-Man. What the fuck he kicked out? Of course he kicked out. Why you gotta be so damn dramatic, Daniel? Stay down. You're a B-plus player. 
and Triple H's ass. Not mine. You're great. You're a great guy, man. You're so awesome, but I'm sorry. I just have to win. I have to. All the AK-40 fans are watching. They don't want to see AK lose. I know they don't. Well, they probably do. They think that shit is funny. All right. Small crackage. I got him, guys. I got him with the small package. Nice. The, the cradle. A million is the only way to describe this match. Well, I don't know how you can pick out how That's the way to beat him, I guess. I just the fuck it. Let me just lights. get the pin on him right here. I don't know if it'll work or not, but it did, guys. He whooped my ass, though. Like, that... there's a the point where if he would have hit his finisher, I would've been fucked. Got that right. The assassin. AK 47. The of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And folks, if you just joining us, I'm sorry. You guys just you witnessed greatness right there. Just defeated Daniel Bryan, the man. In recent memory. The goat face killer. That was awesome, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know how it's going to do. I know you guys really enjoy me playing W2K16. I've been enjoying it playing as well. Glad I'm getting back into it, back into the fold. Tell me what other games you want me to play. I mean, I know a lot of people want me to get back into GTA 5. A lot of people saying Last of Us. I might do a series on that. Pretty sure I might, because Last of Us is like my favorite games of all time. I have to play for you guys one day anyway. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, I still haven't even played that game. I really want to get it done, you know, instead of like holding it off. Uh, what else is out there, guys? What else is for me to play? NBA 2K16, I can do that more, I guess. You guys want to see some FIFA action? I'm, I got FIFA 15. I ain't got 16, though. I just got 15. I'm not a huge FIFA fan, but I did get 15 just to try it out. And it was great. I ain't gonna lie. I really liked it a lot. But AK only has so much money, guys. And I can't just be spending my, all my money on these games. So I have to pick very carefully of what I want to play. So that's just how it is. That's how it is in the grind. I don't have a job right now. Going to college. Hopefully, I get a part-time job soon. Hopefully, that's what I'm striving for, guys. It's been a rough patch in my life lately. I'm just steadily losing money, and I hate it. And the great games are coming out this fall, and I—it's uh, just so heartbreaking if I can't get them. Cause I usually get every game that comes out, like no joke. Like you see my catalog. So, but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was freaking awesome. If you guys want more of this, like this video up like it a lot uh comment a lot on it and keep subscribing guys please keep subscribing you guys have been awesome so far really true AK-47 fans but it's time to get AK-47 global it's time to reach people other than wrestling fans other than KBW fans it's time to reach the other people out there who really enjoys this walkthroughs and gameplay get my name out there guys do what you guys do best Talk about AK-47. Tell everybody how great AK-47 is and that you should check out the main menu every time you wake up, every time you go to bed, every time you take a sip of that soda you've been craving, every time... I should stop, shouldn't I? But I'm not. Every time you watch that TV show, like, damn, I should be watching AK-47 right now. So do it. Don't think. Do. Tell everybody. Get the word out. If you own the news for some damn reason, say, and by the way, subscribe to Bulletproof Games. I don't care. Do what you got to do, guys. Help me out any way you can. Thank you so much. I love all you. You did such tremendous work so far. I'm almost at 1,500. I might be at 1,500 subscribers now as I'm making this video. I don't know. But anyways, hopefully I make it there. Hopefully, by the end of the year, 5K will be here hopefully who knows but with that being said guys with, before I go though I want to see what happens with this lineup you can you can uh, leave now if you want to but I just got I have to check this out okay if the people are still interested in this shit I'm interested okay all right let's get to it so superstar 2-1 you got triple H versus Jey Uso in the right back okay that's what you got Mark Henry versus the Bray Wyatt. Mark Henry beat Bray Wyatt. Like, what the fuck happened? They still ain't giving Bray Wyatt a damn push on a fucking video game. 
I don't get it. It's fucking disgrace to me. Finn Balor, damn right he fucking beat King. He should have. Sting versus Roman Reigns. Of course they get the push to Roman. It's Roman. Why give the push to Roman? I mean, the guy fucking smoked weed or some shit and got his ass 30 day suspension. I don't, I don't like that kind of guy, you know. He say he's the guy, you know. Fuck it. Anyways, guys. Got John Cena and Fandango. Why the fuck you put Fandango in the damn match? I don't give a damn about it. It's a SmackDown. They do whatever the fuck they want, I guess. I'm, I'm losing it, guys. What am I fucking talking about? Why am I even talking like this? I don't know if you guys even enjoyed that or not. What's going on? Oh, my God. <laughs> but anyways... I don't, I don't know, man. I'm just so geek. I'm so like giggly and goofy today for some damn reason. I'm sorry if you guys don't like the side of AK-47. I promise you, it won't be every video that I'm like this. But who knows? It might happen. I might have a disease. What's happening to me? Fuck it. I'm just messing around, pulling your chain. But like I said, guys, remember what I said. Tell everybody about me. Do what you can do to help AK-47 out. You guys are great. You guys been here since day one. I know that. I respect every one of you. You guys are doing great so far. Let's keep up the great work, guys. I love all you, man. Thank you for everything, man. I love that I'm doing this for you guys. It's like my passion, so. With that being said, man, I'm tired of talking. I talk way too damn much for this shit. I know you guys are tired of hearing it already, but I'm gonna say it one more time for the people who are deaf, for the people who can't hear what I'm trying to tell them, for the people who don't want to listen. To what I have to say. So one more time for the boys and the girls and the birds and the bees and the bears and the fishes and the trees and the plants and the roads and the street lights. I can keep going, but fuck it. I am who I am. And I'm different from everybody else. You're witnessing greatness. PewDiePie, I'm coming for you. Rad Brad, I'm coming for you. You will remember Bulletproof Games. You're going to remember who I am. And I'm not going to stop till I get there, motherfuckers. It's wartime, baby. It's time to go. Yeah, you might look at me like this little, little bitch right now who's only got, what, over just a little over a thousand subscribers and y'all have, a, what, over millions? Y'all think I'm a little pimp squeak. Y'all think y'all can kick me down. Y'all think AK-47 is just going to fade all, all away into the mist somehow, into the shadows, and nobody will ever talk about him. But guess what? It's not going to happen. Because I'm making it my mission to reach where you are and take your damn throne. I'm cutting throats. I'm taking lives. I'm taking no prisoners. It's time to get ruthless with this shit, guys. Damn, I'm so good. Because you are witnessing greatness. Sorry for that rant, guys. Sorry for me talking so long. But this is my show. This is AK-47's The Main Menu. This is what you go to get when you subscribe to Bulletproof Games. You get rants. You get funny shit. You get me talking about shit I don't even know what I'm talking about. What's going on? I'm still talking. This shit should be ended like fucking 10 minutes ago. What the hell am I keep talking for? Fuck it. I'm out. Sorry. Not sorry. I'm actually pretty proud of you guys. You guys have been great. I'm sorry for that rant again. I should just end this damn video. Bye everyone. You're witnessing greatness. I am who I am. Different from everybody else. You get the, you get the damn drift. I'm tired of saying the damn catchphrase. I might stop doing it. <laughs> That's a lot, cause I I love it. But anyways, guys. I'll see you guys later. Like like I said. Comment like I said. Keep subscribing like I said. If you want more of this, just tell me. Vote on what games you want me to play. And that being said, see you guys later. I love all you. Sorry about this whole fucking summary damn book I just fucking just laid out for you guys but it had to happen on one of these damn videos and I'm sorry it was this one but I can't fucking take it anymore it's time to get my name out there it's time to reach 5k so let's do it let's make it our mission every time you walk out every time you go to a damn grocery store you best be telling that woman with her kids that hey you like video games you like funny ass guys you like a guy who knows what he's doing a guy that can make you feel good about yourself. A guy that everyone can look up to. Go subscribe to Boo Games. And enjoy some good ass content. Because I dish it out every fucking day. Day and night. 
I haven't slept in fucking 28 hours, guys. I haven't. Like, legit. I haven't went to bed yet. I've been up all night, all cycling. Doing this for you. And doing it for me, too, because I love it. Damn, I'm still going on. Damn, why am I doing this damn monologue? I don't know. Shit, man. Should I even add this? Like, I don't even know if I'm even going to add this at this point. Like, this has been a fucking book, story, wherever you want to put it. But I'm going to end it with this. I really do truly love you. Like, oh, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I would not be here without any of you. And I can't thank you enough for that. And... With that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Try your hardest. I'm not making you do anything. You don't have to do what I ha tell you to do. I'm just, I'm, I'm like 80% like kidding and like just joking around and like trying to make cool stuff up. I don't know. But that 20%, I'm pretty serious. And I really do want this. Like this is what I want to do. And I know you guys can make it happen. I believe in you. So. With that being said, guys, goodbye.